Hey, good morning everybody. Well, today is Thursday, October the 3rd, and it's now 0751. Yeah, we're dragging this morning. They're calling for rain sometime this morning, then it's supposed to clear up. No, it's not raining right now. And Miles is inspecting her, her plants. Yeah. What do we have planned for today? I have no idea. I know Miles wants to wash the muff, right? Yeah. Yeah, sometime today. I don't think it's going to get that hot today. Maybe I'll just rain for a while and then stop. I don't know. I'm not a weather guesser, so. I want to go by what the app says. They said rain around 8 or 9 o'clock. And then clear for the rest of the day. I don't know. What do you think there, Miss Miles? I don't know. What are you feeling? Seems like this oil can be good. What's that? It seems like there's no sunshine. Yeah. Like yeah. Cloudy. Hmm. <laughs> What's wrong? You just don't know what to think of things, huh? Huh? You just don't know what to think anymore, huh? Yeah. Hopefully later on we'll go out for a walk, get out of the house. See what's going on going on in, in on Main Street. There's a lot more people out today. For the past since the beginning of the week, nobody was out. You know what I mean? They just only go, went out for all the important. Yeah, they go out for what they, they need to get, and then they're like, okay, back home again. Yeah. Only go out if you have to. If you don't need to, stay in the house. Or stay undercover. We'll see. All right, man, so this is the start of our day. Hopefully you stick with me through the whole video. It's up to you. I have no control. <laughs> I'm be realistic. I'm just being honest, man. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Well, Mark's getting his, his bath. I guess, I don't, I don't know. But it seems since he's been so stressed out for the past couple days with the thunder and lightning, he's really stinking, man. This is not his favorite thing, but I'll tell you. I will tell you. Let me try to wash him. Miles will tell you. He fights me the whole time. As soon as, my, as, soon as Miles does it, he kind of chills out. He chills out. Good boy. He's a mama's boy, that's why. Good boy. All right, Mark. This is, this is your least favorite thing to do, ain't it? Stop him. Stop him. Yeah, he'll be all right. Stop. Yeah, he's been really... Stop. It's like the body. It's just like heat comes out from his body. Yeah, this is his least favorite thing. Now we got people selling fish. And Mucky is almost done. Make sure you don't get no water in his ears. His ears need to be cleaned. Not with soap and water, but you know. You know what I'm talking about, right? You're an expert on the washing of the muck. Poor thing. He's going through such a horrible experience. He said he's going to put it in his memoirs. The cruel cool life that he had to leave. Right, Mark? <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, she's miles just doing the finishing touches. Like I said, man, I don't have a problem washing washing muck. Muck has a problem with me me washing them. He fights me the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. He's a mama's boy, that's all right. We, we still got that medicine for his ears? Yeah. Yeah, when you, you see how red and flame they look? Yeah. I need to use the cotton. Yeah. But to clean it first and then get... Yeah, his, the, his ears. The, what he does is, man, is he... Yeah, comes outside and lays on the ground and <laughs> ants and everything else like that. It's like, Mark... I mean, he tries to shake them out the best he can. Watch his ears. Yeah, yeah miles will towel dry them to the best of their ability, for the best that it can be done. And I'll let them dry for a little bit and then I will comb them out. So it doesn't get them, doesn't get them knots. Yeah, I know this ain't a dog wounding channel, but this is what we do on a daily life. People are like, why is he talking about a dog? Because this is part of our day, man. Taking care of the children. Oh. Mimi is in hiding. <laughs> yeah, as soon as she seen Monkey get get his collar put on, she knew it was up. Nope, I'm out of here. Bye. Hey. Mimi, yes, ma'am. Look at that. You're all done, bud. You want me to get her? Yeah. Oh, this ain't gonna go over. This is not gonna go over well. She oh, 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 oh. she hates baths. Hates them. All right, man. Let me go battle Mimi, and I'll talk to you all later. Well, I lasso Mimi. <laughs> hey. Just a little bit ago? Okay, okay, next. Lasso Mimi. He did, he did that. Okay, okay, okay. Not Mimi. Mimi's a lot easier because her hair's thin. But she hates baths. If I give it to her. Miles gives it to her, she's kind of like... She accepts it. Right, memes. Hey, girl. All right, I'll, I'll let her get a bath, man. And uh, I'll talk to you a little bit later on. I'm bye for now. Well, well, Mimi's bath is all done. That was fast. You didn't take too long for that, Miles. You didn't take very long with Mimi. You feel clean now there, Miss Mimi? Huh? You feel beautiful? You back to your beautiful self, huh? She <laughs> She see the look she gave me? Like ass. <laughs> then you got Mark. Hey Mark. The Lion King of Badak. Hey Mark. <laughs> he ain't even looking at me. I'm not the one who gave you a bath, bud. He won't even look at me. That's the fun guy captain. Good guy, man. Good guy. He won't even look at me. He gives me one of them like these. Yeah. Straight ahead and out the side like, I ain't talking to you. Leave me alone. So what's next on our agenda? Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll go out for a walk. I don't know, man. It's starting to get real cloudy again. Oh. Well, what can you do? Well, at least the dogs got bathed. The day Monkey was stinking, man. I think it's all from all the stress for the past couple days with the light, thunder and lightning. I think it's stressed them out. I don't know if dogs put out a, a, a chemical or an oil on their skin when they get stressed. I have no idea. Any of you vets or all-knowing, not all-knowing, that sounds messed up. That know this? Do they put out some type of chemical or there? oil? For they sweat. <laughs> look at him. He ain't looking at nobody. <laughs> He's like, I ain't talking to you. He's mad. I'm gonna wait till it dries up a little bit, then I'll comb him. Yeah, he's mad. <laughs>
<laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> hey Mark, this too shall pass, alright? In an hour you'll forget all about it. <laughs> so you ain't even looking at us. <laughs> oh, it's lunch time coming up. I'm gonna have some rice. We got some, forgot all about it. It's only been there a couple days. It hasn't been in there. Miles made a creamy chicken with uh, potatoes, carrots, and garlic. So, she's, you know, we're going to eat that before it goes bad. Mm -hmm. Of course, we'll have the traditional rice. <laughs> As Miles says, rice is life, right? Yeah. Yeah. You finished that chick chicken and then I will finish this. There's enough in, there's enough chicken there's enough in there for about two, two weeks old vegetable. <laughs> Is it I don't, I don't know if it's any good Miles. I still have like uh, I ate this yesterday. Oh, okay. Uh, Mimi out. 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 Yeah I'm, I'm not trying to be mean, man, but we're trying to break her hanging out in the kitchen when we're, we're cooking or eating because eating, yeah. she kind of gets uh, aggressive. Not biting or anything like that, but just won't leave you alone. Poking at you with her nose, crying, <laughs> or not crying, whining. So we're just trying to break her of it. No, I'll never, put, I'll never throw hands on her, but... You just got to be more assertive. Well, I'm having, for lunch, I'm having rice. Got the chicken, got potatoes, got carrots, and there's garlic in there somewhere. <laughs> Mom, what's yours? <laughs> rice, <laughs> rice and ding ding. Ding ding ding. You've been watching too much YouTube. Yeah, there's a comedian, a woman, that does mukbangs. Well, actually, in theory, they're really not mukbangs because they don't have a large quantity of food where they got to feed their faces. They, they're they're uh, critiquing different places they eat. And uh, she does that every time when she's showing something, she'll go. <laughs> and that's why I tell her, that's what I meant by you've been watching too much YouTube. You. She has a husband named Dal. Daryl. Yeah. The Dal. guy's got a beard, bald on top, got something in you know, the mohawk. No, what is it called? Hair growing in the back. There's a mullet. Like a mullet. One time, she goes, How do? You, how can you tell that, that Daryl's a redneck? And she said, Daryl, turn around. And he had the mullet. And this is just recently. I think the mullet went out, what, 20 years ago? Maybe more, maybe less, I don't know. I really never got into the mullet. The mm -hmm. mullet really wasn't for me. What's that? It's where their hair is short on the sides mm -hmm. and it's really long. What was his name? Billy Ray Cyrus was, was, was a, a total of the mullet. I think that was his name. Myra Cyrus' dad, when he won, he made that hit, uh, Achy Breaky Heart. After that song, he kind of faded away. You never, you didn't hear from him anymore. What song is that? Achy Breaky Heart. Achy Breaky Heart. Yeah, it's a, mm -mm. it was a one hit wonder, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, that one. Yeah, this, this is really good, man, this. Like I said, Miles does the Eastern Western fusion all the time when it comes to food. You know? Is that Western? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. I mean, we we eat rice in the West, in the United States and in other countries. You know, I think rice was a Spanish thing. And the reason why I say that is, go to, go to New, uh, New Orleans. They have a lot of dishes with rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, I could be wrong, man. I'm just guessing. 
but it just seems that way. Yeah, different dishes and then have rice. It's just like Filipino. Well, Philippines was occupied for many, 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 399 years of Spain, you know. Maybe you can answer a question. I'm just curious. I'm not trying to start anything. When the Spains were here, the Spanish, the Spain, the Spanish were here, how were, in your opinion, or what you have been told, because you weren't around when, or maybe you, no, you weren't around. How were the Philippine people treated by Spain? Just like slavery? Really? Like slaves? You see? I, I don't know, I wasn't here. I cannot remember because we, we, we also were. learned that it's in uh, Constitution, remember? Socialist studies. Or history. History. Philippine history. Mm -hmm. Now, in your honest opinion, between Spain and the United States, who treated you better? That you I mean, United States because it, they are the one who 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 help Philippines to battle the battle the the Japanese. Mm -hmm. See, I understand, and, and you, you all can take this the way you want. I can understand why some people in the Philippines, and they do, do not like the United States. I, I get it. Okay, in my personal opinion, I feel that the United States kind of pushes their limits on things. I'm saying the government, I'm not saying the people. Well, pushes, to, in other words, if, if you tell the United States, okay, this is a fence, you are not allowed to go beyond that fence. They'll go, okay, and then next thing you know, they're, they're going around that fence to the other side. That's what I'm saying, you know? That's why me and myself, I do not believe that one country should give another country aid. Okay? Because a lot of countries, and the United States gives quite a bit of money to the Philippines in aid, okay? Which is fine. I'm not complaining about that. The thing that I know of, any time a bigger country, such as the United Kingdom, the United States, when they give money to another country, there's always strings attached. You know what I'm saying? Always. You know, just like they're saying now, and this is only my opinion, man, okay? So don't get all, ooh, that they're saying the United States is coming back to the Philippines because of everything that's going on. In my opinion, if I was a Philippine government, okay, I'd say, you know, that's fine. I understand, yes, we do need you here, but you want to know something? See that gates? that surrounds the, your area of your, uh, that's called a, uh, a base. See that fence that surrounds your, your, uh, your area of your base? You don't go beyond that fence. In other words, don't come into a city and try to control it. That's not what you're here for. Of course, the United States does have vested interest in the Philippines as far as the shipping, shipping lanes and everything like that, and for logistic or strategic reasons. But I feel the United States should mind their own damn business what the Philippine government does for the Philippine people do. I think that's one of the reasons why the Philippine government, the last time they left, I think that's one of the reasons why, because the strings were being attached all over the place. You know, mm -hmm. do things this way or you're not going to get this. And I don't know this for a fact, okay? I'm just my opinion. England does the same thing. Yeah. The only problem is there's another country, a bigger country to the east of the Philippines, okay? They don't care what people think. They're going to do what they want to do. Your opinion means nothing to them because they're going to do it anyway. Yeah, that might be yours, but you want to know something that's mine now. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're going to build an island 
right off your shores. And we don't care what you think. And no, it's not part of your territory because we say it's our territory now. You know? And that's, I think, that's... Yes, you do have a bully in the area. And everybody lets them get away with so much until it's too late to do anything about it. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. I'm not a military expert, I'm not a logistic expert or whatever like that, but I see things for what they are. When they're claiming an island that's what, 50 miles off your coast? Mm -mm. And they're saying, oh, that belongs to us. No, it don't. The funny thing is, China, I believe, is still considered a developing nation. Okay? It is. I believe. I might be wrong. The United States gives them aid. Okay? They give them aid for uh, AIDS research and other things. So, the United States has got to borrow money from China to give them money for their research. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I don't get all political, man. I, it, it, the world's a mess, and you don't need. To, but I just notice things, you know. A lot of people feel that in the U.S. that they want the United States out of the U.N out of NATO because we always flip the bill for everything. We always pay for everything. You know? Does NATO or, or UN really serve a purpose? I think, me personally, myself, I think the UN is nothing but a bunch of elitists. You know? So I think it is a bunch of you. Who, who listens to the UN? Who listens to them? Nobody. A whole bunch of elitists. Political elitists who got enough money to buy their way to wherever they want to be. Now, this is my opinion. A lot of people feel the UN has caused more problems than solved. You know? Mm. That caused more problems than solved problems. Your country's part of the UN. Yeah, it is. The United Nations, that's all it is. Representatives from every country, that's all it is. That's not all it is, but... And it's usually a part... Like but not a part of NATO. No, the two separate things. NATO. I got my opinion on NATO. Being it had to be involved with NATO a couple of times. I got my own opinion on NATO. Why do you need an organization, okay? I mean, what well, you have one in your country is supposed to be adults. So if you have one country has a problem with another one, you go to a room, you sit down, you do a couple of beers, and you solve your problems. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, well, it's gonna cost, we'll have hearings and we'll do this, and at the when everything is said and done, it costs. It costs countries millions of dollars and they don't resolve nothing. Like I said, I just, I got my own opinion on the thing. Like I said, U.S. 
should get out of NATO and should get out of the UN because it caused more problems than it stopped. And I don't believe in giving aid to countries. You're a sovereign country. You got a problem, you need to solve it. Quit waiting on somebody else to pay for pay. Or give you money. Because half the time that money never makes it to where it's supposed to go. There's more there's countries that are a lot worse off, but they're not politically correct. Look at some of the countries in Africa. Look at all the stuff that happened down in Uganda. Oh. And, and NATO was, UN was, oh, we're here. Yeah, right. The, the thousands of people are being killed. Yeah, I have my, I have my issues with the UN and NATO. It's all back scratching and pocket stuffing. You know? <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not even supposed to say it. See what I'm saying, man? You need to go let out now. I hate being me, man, but. Started poking me in the leg. This is really good. Mm. Another outstanding meal from Miss Miles. I hmm? I'm already. They should give you a cooking show, cooking with Miles. You know? Why don't you start a YouTube channel, Cooking with Miles? Why not? Mm -hmm. You do the East-West Fusion. That's what you do a lot. You do the East-West Fusion a lot. I think people will be interested. For, for, for everybody think that's a good idea for Miles to start a cooking show, Cooking with Miles, give us a thumbs up. I think you can cook, Miles. You're a good cook. Oh. Lunch. All right, man. I'm going to go ahead and let you all go. If you thought I got political, I apologize for it, but there's certain things that bother me. I don't talk about the presidents or anything like that. That's a waste of time, but like I said, I have my opinions on different things. So thank you for watching. If you got this far, we do appreciate it. And remember, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and stay happy. Bye for now. Bye bye. And boy, boy. You talk a lot of, of, of political issues. That wasn't political.